I thirst for war. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh my gosh! What even is this? I am... I am the destroyer of worlds! Hey, what's up everyone? Tankenstein here. In this video, I've got probably one of the first, if not the first test drives for the Kachi. This thing is a meme tank through and through. Look at this thing. It's 1.7 BR and ground realistic. It goes 28 or 35 kilometers per hour, has a ridiculous visibility, meaning that this is one of the most visible tanks in the entire game. In fact, actually, let's go check this out. I've got the mouse. Is the mouse even this bad? Let's see, let's choose crew right here. The mouse has as much visibility as the Kachi. Pretty ridiculous. And the Kachi actually moves faster than the mouse. So Kachi better than mouse confirmed. Anyways, again, this is an amphibious vehicle. It's got the 47 millimeter type one cannon, 4.3 reload, uh, 4.3 second reload speed. It's actually pretty decent. It's got really pretty decent vertical guidance, not great uh, gun depression, but uh, the turret armor and the hull armor are, are actually substantially better than I had initially expected. So uh, as you can see here, 50, and you also have 50 up here. You have 25 here. It's not really great on the side of the hull, but you can remove the... Uh, pontoons which are questionable at best and I'll show you why in just a moment but these slow it down substantially um, you know it really does not do anything for the performance and then it just looks really cursed at this point I mean look at this thing it looks like almost a tank engine or a uh, a train engine I mean to say it's just really oddly designed you have 20 millimeters armor in the back not great but 50 in the front this thing is a Japanese Tiger at 1.7, and actually, I am really, really surprised. The only thing is, you're going to have to get really lucky trying to actually uh, ricochet shells because, I mean, if you're going to angle this, I mean, your your side armor is so huge and so weak. Also, there's like a party of seven guys in here, so bring the, uh, bring the chips. Anyways, let's get into some gameplay and just show how this thing really moves, but it's... I'll, have, I'll say, based on the stats, I might be eating crow because I said that this tank was uh, probably going to be terrible. So, who knows? Let's get into it. So, before we get into the actual gameplay, I just want to, like, highlight some things here in Test Drive. It's fairly interesting. I mean, low-level Japanese tanks in this game have stabilizers to a point. This one, for the most part, has a stabilizer until about 12-ish kilometers per hour. You could argue a little bit more. I mean, of course, it tries to stabilize, and it's not too bad of a vertical motion up to around 20. But uh, once you go into Cruise Control 3, um, more or less, all bets are off, uh, and it becomes much less accurate. Cruise Control 2, it's still actually pretty bad. Uh, let's see. But you slow it down to Cruise Control 1. It does some level of the job. Not great, but something. Now, being that one of the primary features of this tank is the amphibious feature, the ability to go into water uh, seamlessly from land, I just kind of want to test that as well before getting into a match and does it pretty well. I mean, it's going nine kilometers per hour. Nothing incredibly, um, <laughs> nothing amazing, but it does certainly do that. Also, interestingly, there is a an MG on the back of the turret and it uh yeah it's there's nothing there's actually no mg there it just looks like it and uh there's a party going on in the turret but yeah this thing is very slow in water as one could expect not maneuverable but uh let's try it without pontoons see if it actually floats i doubt it but who knows maybe they didn't uh, model that in yet so a few things that i may not have mentioned before it does have the ability to use this whole mounted MG without the pontoons also it is substantially quicker without those pontoons like holy cow and it still floats it still floats it still floats without the pontoons what's the point then 
What's the point? I don't even know if it's being modeled in. There's literally zero point to actually add the pontoons unless you're looking to look like a, a, a land ship. That's it. The pontoons do not do anything special, at least as of the recording of this video. They might change it where you need the pontoons to go amphibious. But uh, for as of right now, you can look like any sort of tank or a, uh, a train and just swim in the water just fine. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Anyways, let's get into an actual match or two. So, thank you all so much. Uh, first and foremost, before I even get into any sort of real gameplay here, I just want to say thanks so much for watching, everyone. Seriously, without you guys supporting this channel, I would not be able to test drive this thing early. So, it's really, really nice. And uh, I want to say I thank you. But uh, getting into the gameplay. Oh, and also, please subscribe so I can do more of this because uh, that's really cool. But as you can see, this thing is ridiculously slow. Um, really, really, really slow. Like, as soon as you introduce any sort of maneuver or uh, movements, it gets really, really bad. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, wow, I could pen that. I could pen whatever that is. <gasps> I got a kill! Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this thing is substantially faster without the... Uh, which I'm gonna call it without the pontoons on it and it looks like a boat It's absolutely insane It's just really really like the eight or not the HVS the XM8 Which is another vehicle with removable armor or add-ons now uh, to the side The in much the same way. This is useless uh, just like that is and it okay. I, I can't repair them, right? Oh my gosh, look how much bigger I am compared to this guy. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Oh, also the pontoons do not affect um, visibility. Interestingly enough. But yeah. This thing is absolutely insane. I don't really know how much uh, gameplay I'm going to do here just because it's first, first, first gameplay. But, certainly we could see. Also, all that extra armor, I mean, you can see that the stabilizer is kind of working. It, it almost kind of acts as like a gun dampener, right? Because it, it forces it to move a lot slower. And the slower this thing moves, the better the stabilizer works. So I suppose that's cool. Hopefully no one's coming from that other corner. Okay, I'm expecting some resistance. Oh, one hit! Okay. You know, I've not actually been shot at, though, so I can't really speak to the efficacy of how good this thing is. But thus far, I'll admit it. I'm, gonna, I'm eating pro. This is a better tank than I expected thus far. Oh. Um, surprisingly better. I do not want to be back here. I do not want to spawn camp. I didn't even realize that was the spawn until just now. So let's see what we can do. But yeah, I mean, I, honestly, the, the ideal setup for this thing, I would not use the pontoons. But with this vehicle more than almost any other other vehicle it the temptations there i mean this is so doofy looking with the pontoons that you have to do it i mean it's pretty much necessary okay oh i should have just shot his uh that okay good have i not been successful with every pen thus oh wait far where is this guy? Where is he? Oh, is that him? No, that's not him. He's dead. All right? They're all dead. They're all dead. Okay. Wow. I'm leading the charge. This is totally unexpected. I did not think that this tank would be at all decent. But man, 
I was oh geez, I hear bombs. Oh. What? What is even going on? Uh, I got four kills. It's not too bad. But I'm doing that poorly compared to the rest of my team? Man, their team is not doing well. <laughs> okay. That that would explain a lot then. I thirst for war. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh my gosh. What even is this? I am... I'm the destroyer of worlds. What? I, okay, I'll be it. It's it's one point seven. I mean, I'm, this isn't totally impressive. Uh, but this is actually kind of amazing to me, uh, just because of how ridiculous this vehicle is, and how decently I'm doing in it. Like. I'm genuinely surprised. Oh, that's an enemy. It's an enemy. Was an enemy. Man, this thing is gigantic. It's like it's the it's a mighty mouse. It's just the mouse of lower BRs, man. Man. We're gonna win this. I'm just push like this thing is a bully holy guacamole I'm gonna probably if like the thing is though I cannot expose my side armor otherwise I die wait where is that we won huh maybe get into the next match I'm not sure wow there you go another kill another kill this is crazy this is crazy okay let's let's throw this uh this big boy into battle without the pontoon so it's even more of a cursed vehicle oh wow okay i went over here there's my entire team's over here that's not gonna create good gameplay <laughs> okay so i think i got myself a charlie bingo wingo over here i don't think they're gonna be able to pen the frontal armor of this thing at least not at any sort of angle i do hear something what sounds like an enemy I'm not sure. It's just, uh, I mean, it's, it's difficult to rate right here just because I am, wait a second. Man, what the heck? Just because this is really bad terrain, so I can't really say whether or not this has, uh, is that guy? Okay. It's this darn mouse, darn mouse. It's just difficult to say like how decent this thing is, uh, without the pontoons but what i could tell you is that in test drives it is substantially faster oh perfect i've got a better reload but it doesn't matter oh wait it does matter <laughs> what am i doing okay that, that still did something what There we go. There we go. Children. Wait. Do we have any bad guys over? I think we do. Really do not want to go up here. I feel like we got ourselves some baddies in here. Something funky's going on. Something stunky. Okay, 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 okay. This guy does not notice me here. What? Oh, it doesn't matter. It's what happens when you have to face superior duck technology. Uh oh, uh oh. No! Let's see, can I? Nope. Okay, now he notices. Ha ha ha! You can't do anything! I'm here defending. Defending with my life. 
this base. Come on, come on, come on. Can't. <gasps> he. He. He damaged me. He. No. Ha ha ha. I always come out on top. I got seven crew members. Seven. Pontoons or not. I will win. Wait, is that? Oh, I almost thought that was a bad guy. Wait, is there still someone over here? Well, anyways, I have to, oh my gosh. So the turret depression de appears to be better without the uh, without the pontoons. So that's good. I mean, this kind of feels a little cheaty, though. Like, I don't think that this tank is as good as, as I think or as I'm doing. I just think that's really... And this is not... Like, I'm not trying to say, oh, you know, I'm, I'm amazing or anything. But I think a lot of this just has to do with the fact that I'm more experienced. And, um, yeah, I think it's pretty much just that simple. A lot of this comes down to... Oh, wow. Speaking of experience, I'm about to experience a world of pain. Okay, I got people in front, behind, all around. Okay, I'm being swarmed. I'm being swarmed. Oh, buddy. Okay, there we go. Finally. The guy from behind. I knew it was going to happen. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Seriously, please, like, comment, subscribe. You know the dealio. And I will see you all on the other side. I hope you guys enjoyed this. But either way, take care, everyone. And, uh... Enjoy the rest of your day, week, and year, and whatever else. Take care.